Well, Donald Trump getting a little back and forth with the Huffington Post. You know them. I think like 200 million people end up reading the Huffington Post. It's a, it's a behemoth of a website. But their politics page will not have any more stories of Donald Trump in the politics, uh, the politics section of the website. Yeah, he's going to be right there next to Justin Bieber in The Bachelorette, apparently. According to the Huffington Post, this is a statement from them. Our reason is simple. Trump's campaign is a sideshow. We won't take the bait. If you are interested in what the Donald has to say, you'll find it next to our stories on the Kardashians and the Bachelorette. But, uh, Tucker, the Donald Trump campaign is firing back. Yeah, he did not take this sitting down, not surprisingly. He wrote this, or his, his uh, spokesman did on Twitter, quote, The only clown show in this scenario is the Huffington Post. Pretending to be a legitimate news source, Mr. Trump is not focused on being covered by a glorified blog. He's focused on making America great again. This is great news as far as I'm concerned. The Huffington Post dropping the pretense. It's not a news site. It never has been. It's, a, it's just a complete partisan. It's an adjunct to a Democratic uh, political campaign. And by the way, nobody reads their politics page anyway. Unless you're an MSNBC host, you're not reading the Huffington That's Post That's the question. I, I, I was curious. Does that move the needle at all anyway? Who really cares? No, you GOP read it to poll? get Taylor Swift's latest selfies. <laughs> And now they're putting well, it in mean, the, the Taylor Swift page. selfie section. Well, I mean, the politics page. I mean, all right, I mean, if you look at these latest polls, right, here, 2016 GOP nominee preference, a new Fox News poll among likely Republican primary voters. Trump is out in front right now by a, by a pretty significant margin. Yeah, look, a lot of people didn't take him seriously back in April, 5%, all the way up to 18% now. Well, it's so, does, so does the politics page of the Huffington Post move that needle at no, all? No, it's so dumb, but also it's not journalism. I mean, I, I run a website, a news site. We don't not cover Obama because I don't like him. I don't agree with President Obama, but we put him in the news pages because we're not in charge of the news. News organizations cover what happens, whether they like it or not. And those that refuse to are not news yeah, organizations. Yeah, that's the broader picture. But the Huffington Post isn't the only one who has called Donald Trump a sideshow. In fact, even some Republicans are saying that he's damaging the Republican Party yeah, by, don't. by of, taking attention away, away from other viable candidates. Yeah, a lot of people don't like him, but it doesn't make him any less a real news story. Because, again, we're not in charge of making the news. We merely cover it. That's the point. Lucy wrote us on Facebook this morning, and she said this. I'm proud of Mr. Trump. He says what so many uh, people think but have no way to make it known good for him. And overwhelmingly, these are the responses we're getting on, on social media, folks. Bill on Facebook says, hooray for the HuffPo. Oh, they're on the other side. They accurately categorize the freak show that is Donald Trump. He is not a serious candidate. He is just in it for the publicity and is endangering Republican chances for 2016. So that's on the other side. On the Huffington Post site. Glenda writes this, Trump is entertaining, but he's also very serious about getting this country back on its feet. He should not be dismissed. Carol Ann on Facebook says his courage is refreshing. However, uh, how could he possibly work with Congress after calling them all stupid? Want him in the debates, but not in the presidency. Hmm. And not in the, quote, news pages, the Huffington Post, which are written by a bunch of children who live in Brooklyn who have literally no idea what American <laughs> politics is about. So, like, you know. If you go there, I guess you won't have to deal with Donald Trump stories. Feel better?